Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. Uh, today I'm going to talk you to you about the chapter 6.0 critical speeds for shaft. Okay, all the notes is taken from Shigley's mechanical engineering design book, and all the pictures in the slide is taken from Google Images. Okay. Okay, what is a critical speed for shaft? Okay, when shaft is turning, uh, eccentricity causes the centrifugal force deflection, which, which is rested by the shaft gradual rigidity EI. Okay, in short, the meaning of critical shaft I represent to you like this. This is a, a power tool. Okay, okay, you can see here when I push the button, it rotates. Okay, it rotates at a certain speed. Okay. This is a screw. I insert with the the here. You see stable or not? It is stable. No bouncing, no uh, fluctuating. Okay. Now I replace this with a screw. Now you see here. It fluctuates. This is not stable. Okay, it is not stable. So I, if I increase the speed, it may fall down. This is called the critical speed for shaft. Meaning that this is what you want to calculate in order to make the shaft speed become stable. Okay. Okay. Critical speed for simple geometry. The shaft because its own mass has critical speed. Example of attachment to a shaft like wise has critical speed that is much over than the shaft intrinsic critical speed. Okay, the critical speed is represented by this equation. W I equals to pi per I power of 2 E I over M. Okay. Wi is the radial speed. Okay, the radial speed meaning anything that is moving, anything as moving in radial direction, it is a it has a speed called the radial speed, radial per second. Okay. So pi is pi, three pi one four two. Okay. Uh, and L is the length, okay? L is the length of the shaft, meaning that the shaft length. This is the shaft, the length of the of the shaft. This is the length of the shaft. So, uh, M is the mass per unit length. What does it mean by mass per unit length? Okay. So suppose your shaft that you want to calculate is like this has attachment and this okay okay this is one shaft okay this is shaft one this is shaft number two this is shaft number three made from different material okay made from different material has different sizes and everything okay the mass is individual mass huh? mass this is mass number two mass number two this is mass number three and every and others okay and the gamma is the specific weight okay specific weight is defined as Make, uh, product of each density rho and standard gravity g rho equals uh, gamma equals to gamma equals to rho gravity okay and a is the cross section of the shaft okay this is the shaft this is a shaft it has a cross section okay it has the cross section a represented by a circle okay uh, that's all the equation. 
Okay, shaft with lamb mass. What is shaft with lamb mass? Okay, lamb mass. At, at first, you may thought that lamb mass is uh, like this. This is a shaft. This is a shaft that is supposed to be is a mass. Yes. Okay. All this is lamb mass. This is not lamb mass. Okay. Like, for example, I give is like this. Okay. Maybe you thought this is a lamb mass. This is a shaft. This is a mass. Maybe you thought it's a lamb mass. No, no. It is not defined as a lamb mass like this. Okay. Lamb mass is okay. Lamb mass is you consider everything okay this is a shaft it has it has a bearing okay many bearings many load inside inside it many load on it all of this is considered is one mass it is called lamb mass so the equation is um w i okay radial speed uh, g Total W I Y I W I Y I two okay. This is a uh, lamb mass. And Y I is a deflection of I body location. So meaning that when when it is moving, it is deflect. Okay. When the mass is moving, it okay. This is its original position, and when it deflect, it goes like this. Okay, this is a uh, deflection is defined by y. Okay, y i defined by y. This is a deflection. Okay, influence coefficients. What is the meaning of influence coefficient? The influence coefficient dy is the deflection at i due to the unit load at j. See the figure here. This is figure. Okay, this is explain explain many things. Okay, so when you give a load. You give a load, okay? You give a load, okay? And then giving a load, and this deflect, it it has the deflection like this. This is d one d. This is a load. This is deflection, okay? So it is proportional. You give one, uh, we give one force. It deflect give uh, higher force is deflect more it's deflection okay and for the three load uh, of coefficient it might be displayed by like this okay why the table is like this uh, d1 d1 1 d1 2 d1 3 and everything it is all related to the axis axis x y axis you know x y z axis x y and z axis okay x y and z and this axis represent by uh, if you imagine a box okay a box have surfaces like this okay this is one surface two surface three surface okay uh, and this is the first tii one one okay the one two one three and everything okay and it is relation when you are bending the uh you distort the bond the bond distort in such a way that it is d1 d2 and d3 and d4 everything okay to help you to do the calculation you use the maxwell reciprocity theorem okay this may well reciprocity theorem okay is represented by this figure okay it state that in a clearly linear elastic structure the deflection at any point a due to a point due to the load applied to other point b will be equal to deflection at b when the same load applied at a meaning that you give a this is a shaft supported by okay structure here you give load here okay load here and it deflect 
Okay, it deflect deflection A. Okay, and then you give another load. You take this load. You give load B here, and it deflect. The deflection is also the same. Deflection A, deflection is the same. Okay. Okay, this deflection is the the same. That is the meaning by uh, Maxwell reciprocal theorem. Okay, force form centrifugal force. Okay, everyone knows this game. Okay, it is in Olympic game. You know that the person moving the uh, the load, the ball, and when uh, he released the ball. The ball will travel far away, and then he scores the mark. Who's the fathers? Uh, who, who, who throws the balls? The fathers, uh, wins. Okay, wins the Olympic games. Okay, this is you know how. What is the relation with this figure with centrifugal force? Because uh, this is centrifugal force. Okay, and how can it relate with deflection of a shaft? Okay, remember this figure I give you. This is a Figure is a stable shaft. If no load given here. Is it is a stable shaft? I give this is a. This is a screw. I just attach. Simply attach it, and I make it. I rotate this. When it rotate, you see it has Y. Yeah. It is a Y. Look, see here is a Y. Y one, Y two, Y three. It is a it is a moving at uh, y deflection. This is a y deflection. Okay. At the at the straight point is this. When it deflect, it goes down. It is a y deflection. In a let's say it is a y axis. That it is a z axis. Is the x axis um, at towards the, my hand towards you is the x axis. Now it moving in three direction. This is for the y. Try to understand. Okay, three distance value of this uh, uh, of this uh, load. Okay, why? Because you see here everything has a mass, and let's say for this screw it has a mass. Okay, M1, M2, M3, M4, and it is represented by only one mass. Okay, imagine. Uh, when it is a moving, it moving in uh, x, y, z axis, and you cannot be sure that uh, it is moving at the same deflection. Maybe in y the x direction, it goes at one deflection, and in x direction, it goes in at one uh, at certain distance. Y direction, it goes at different distance. Z direction, it goes by different distance so this is what we call the three distance value and imagine you have many many shaft okay you have you have uh, many shaft okay this is shaft number one attached to the bearing this is shaft number two this is shaft number three attached to a bearing and then every everything is moving okay everything is moving everything is moving in different uh, different velocity, slightly slightly different velocity and different deflection. X Y axis is also different direction. X different uh, deflection. Y different deflection. Z different deflection. That is why it has many value and also it has uh, different mass. Okay. Okay. The rules in deflection can be expressed by this uh, equation. Uh, comparing bigger equation. To, uh, 7 to 7 and 7 to 8 you get this equation okay in relation uh, 1 per uh, radial load uh, power of 2 equals to mass times the deflection okay mass times the deflection this is uh, basically why they have 3 not 4 not 5 not 6 because direction uh, direction is uh, apa? Uh, x y z direction okay Okay, so if only a single mass, 
what does it mean by single mask? Let's say the screw. It's only a single screw. Okay. The equation is given by this equation. Why? Okay. Just put this equation. Okay. Then clearly equation. I represent to you uh, as uh, this you see my like when I rotate this. Okay. When I rotate this, higher speed or low speed, I don't, don't, uh, doesn't matter. It means that. When whatever the load I give here, I give here, I give here. When it ever it moving, the deflection is the same. No, the the, the the deflection is the same. Whether I put the load over here, when I put the load over here, over here, uh, no, over here, over here, over here, every load is the same. Okay. Okay, like like this. I put the load. My hand is the load here, here, here. All will be give the same deflection, okay? Okay, I hope you understand this video. Uh, we we'll see you in the next video. We will do some example, okay? Thank you very much.